madlozi ya kuluma nawe Kazani Dimelang Khanya Lisedi. Hello everyone and welcome to the one-on-one sessions with Gogo Masore and I'm your host Gogo M. Giving you guys tips, lessons and teachings on everything spirituality. I know someone is out there saying or oh, Gogo it's been almost six days and you're still wearing the same clothes. Guys, I took all these videos for like the past few weeks on the same day with the same clothes. So please don't judge me. I'm too lazy to go changing. Anyway, today I want to talk about dreaming of white people. Okay, so dreaming of Caucasian people or people from other races, what these dreams may indicate, right? And for all the people that are not um, black, <laughs> if you're seeing this, please do not be offended. There are a lot of things in tradition that actually have a lot of meanings. Even dreaming of a black person has its own meaning, but white people, dreaming of white people does have more meanings to it. So it's going to be a very short video because i'm just going to straight go straight to the point on what because i'm just going to go straight to the point on what these dreams actually mean right so the number one thing you know what these dreams can mean is that dreaming of white people can indicate your ancestors so there are different types of spirits or different kind of ancestors that when they come to you they can actually come to you in the form of people from other races or pale white people in skin tone so usually these are water spirits people like who have mundawe most of the times whenever you have dreams and visions you might find that you're seeing a lot of white people or people from other races for other people they see indian people for others they see asian people so it's quite normal it depends on which type of way your ancestors you want to represent themselves or show themselves name and i feel like it actually makes sense for them to use the features of a white person because you know every water spirit or every water mammal most of them are a bit um pale whitish in tone when you see them so it's actually kind of understandable why they would come in the form of a white person eh? number two it can indicate a dokoloshi that is being sent to you so not all dreams of seeing white people are actually good dreams some dreams may indicate a certain entity that is being sent to you and most of the times this particular entity is a dokoloshi so one thing that our advisor person is to actually check your emotions when you see this dream check what is occurring in the surroundings and whatnot when you're seeing this dream and you're seeing this particular person and also if you're still not certain about it you can actually go to a sangoma or a prophet to actually see what exactly these dreams may mean because it can either be one of the two in most cases these are the major two meanings of why you could be seeing white people in your dream okay number three it could be showing you the presence of entities this could be ghosts spirits or even dogoloshes but oh yeah the presence of entities name okay number three it could represent the presence of entities these entities can be ghosts evil spirits and even demons so there are instances or whenever you're having these kind of dreams you might find that this particular person that you're having in this dream is actually chasing you this person's trying to harm you and you feel this negative presence about this person you feel that this is not a human being this is not even your ancestors you feel that this is an entity that you cannot actually put to minus to white is and it's not even a tokolish as well so sometimes when you dream of people from other races mainly white people then it can indicate the fact that you might be visited by a certain entity that is in a certain negative entity this can be a ghost or a demon or whatever kind of entity there may be because there are different types of entities and they all have different impacts in our lives negatively so then number four this can be dreams where look that the ancestors want to guide you on what kind of gift you have so you might find that as a person you might have multiple gifts or you might have a water spirit gift that you do not understand or rather you are not sure about this particular gift so sometimes they can come in this form to try and differentiate themselves from other ancestors this way they're going to help you understand what kind of gift that you have as a spiritual person as one other deem what gifts do you have and how you should go about your gift because understand that people with water spirits are more associated with water rituals there are a lot of water rituals that you're gonna need to do yeah sometimes it could be mandawe sometimes it could be stunyo like prophetic gifts and whatnot so it just depends on how this particular person represents themselves to you they can represent themselves wearing mandawe attire they can represent themselves wearing prophetic attire so usually in this kind of dreams the ancestors are trying to show you the kind of gift that you have using this person of a different skin tone a different race from you wearing a certain regalia that represents a certain kind of spiritual gift that you have inherited from certain ancestors in your family and lineage right 
Number five, you may be visited by the marine spirit. Okay, so a marine spirit, yes, it does go hand in hand with Mandawe, but as I've mentioned in my past videos, there are different types of marine spirits. There's Mandawe, Nzunza, Balozi. Okay, not really Balozi because Balozi goes both ways. I've made videos differentiating the different types of Balozi spirit. It's Tunya, Sisi, Zeni, and whatnot. So there are different types of marine spirits. Mermaid spirits as well. There are also marine spirits. Né? So, you may be getting a visitation from one of your spiritual guides, one of the spirits that are governing you as a spiritual person. And usually, during this time, when you are getting visitations from these particular spirits, understand that you will actually receive a certain message. They might actually say something to you, or just being there is that will tell you what we are working with you for everything that you're encountering usually whenever they just want to show you that they are working with you for everything that is when you find out maybe you're going through a very hard time as a person maybe you're going through certain struggles that you feel like you can't really get out of so they are there we are showing you what whatever it is that you're going through we are with you we are guiding you we are protecting you so you do not need to worry so this is where you are being visited by a certain marine spirit name and the last point which i did not put down here it could be them trying to show you that you have different races in your bloodline because understand that in our bloodlines like there are just so many different races that we are linked to you might find that at a later stage a certain grandmother a certain grandfather married in or married or what had a child with a person from a different race and whatnot so these are also spirits these are also your ancestors and every single spirit or every single ancestor depending on what culture they come from they can indicate how you should perform certain rituals and whatnot right so let's say for example you have an ancestor from um an indian race obviously there are certain things that you're going to perform in an indian manner there are certain rituals that you're going to do the same way as indian people do them let's say for example it's an asian ancestor then there are certain rituals you're going to perform in an asian manner you know in this that kind of way so it may long they're trying to show you this different um bloodline that may be there within the family that you may be aware of or not aware of what soon whatsoever but they're clearly just trying to guide you on how you're going to perform certain things or how you're going to or rather not how but the fact that you're gonna need to actually incorporate certain cultures in the spiritual things or spiritual practices that you're gonna be doing just to accommodate the culture with that particular ancestor as well okay so anyways that is it for me guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys understand this video anyways have yourselves a beautiful one to Kozani. bye bye <laughs>